hello there and welcome back to my channel so today i've got a bunch of new makeup products some of them are, are well they're from all over the place there's some items from aliexpress that i have had sat in this box for a while i've got uh, an item from shine i've just got some stuff within this box and i am really kind of calling on you yes you you sexy motherfucker i'm calling on you today because i need you to let me know which of these products if any you would be keen to see me try okay so the first one is this is actually one that i am definitely going to try I, and i know that well i don't want to say i know i don't want to assume that because whenever i say the word assume in my head i can hear my tutor at university saying assume makes an ass out of you and me and that's what i can always hear when i I'd say assume and i always feel bad whenever i say i c can i assume because i feel like no don't assume don't no why would you be assuming anything do you know what i mean anyway right so guys the first uh, product is an eyeshadow palette this is one that i got from aliexpress and it's by the febble brand i've tried a couple of other eyeshadow palettes by the febble brand and i love them and i don't want it to just be like oh yeah i i love them i love them like i was so impressed with the quality which is why i went ahead and bought this one even though i don't really i don't really think the color story is all that great i got it purely because the reputation of this brand for me is really really good one of my favorite palettes ever in the world is by febble i've got her right here where is she oh my gosh i thought I... <laughs> okay i don't know where she is but i thought she was up on my shelf she's not she's somewhere but she's so beautiful i'll find her and i'll pop a picture up here she's amazing she's so good she's so silky smooth she's creamy she's pigmented the metallics i like no other like literally they're just like melted metal so this is the colorful eyeshadow palette i think this whole front cover design is really really nice it's a plastic palette and you know i think they have really thoughtfully created it i have to say when i received this i was a little bit disappointed because it's not like screaming out i am amazing at me i just think it's a little bit it's just not very cohesive and i'm seeing a bit of a trend at the moment with eyeshadow palettes that have a, a variation of like different shades in there like colorful shades neutral shades bright shades for me i just don't think those kind of palettes and this palette i just don't think it's very cohesive and by that i mean i don't look at it and immediately see loads of different kind of eye looks i could create with it i kind of look at it i am confused because i'm looking and, I'm, and maybe that's just my lack of creativity and imagination but i'm kind of looking at it and i'm thinking "Ooh, okay i'm not quite sure what to do with you i think you look nice and i think individually the shades look good but as a palette as a whole yeah i'm just thinking what could i do with you i don't know tell me if you think otherwise like if you look at this and think i could think of a million different looks to create with it then i would be really concerned but i just don't think it's been very thoughtfully curated honestly if you would like me to try <laughs> try is the operative word here but if you'd like me to try to create a look with this palette holler at me and i will do it okay so next we have a um set of liquid eyeshadows from the Shiglam brand which is from shine i am a huge fan of shine makeup i have been disappointed a few times but the majority of the time oh we love those products we do so this is called the modern love glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow set me thinks they may have taken a little bit of an inspiration from the steeler glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow but the steeler glitter and glows are just phenomenal but they're very expensive so i'm always you know looking for dupes this is what the trio looks like i love the packaging this was actually a present from my stepmother for uh, my birthday so we love we love that when we get presents that we can actually use so there's three different shades here oh my gosh this packaging is so cute okay so i'll just do a little swatch of each of the shades you've got a double foot wand so this is the first one it's kind of like it's like a rose gold with little silver glitters 
it looks very opaque which i like it's packed full of micro glitter so okay nice okay so the next one oh okay so the next one doesn't really have like a base color to it so it's not like i don't know i'd say this would be more of a topper shit like topper glitter because if you compare the two like this first one has that metallic base to it so you could just use it kind of you know on its own to kind of cover the lid but also provide that you know the sparkle from the glitter whereas this one is simply just sparkle which i am not averse to but i don't know it, it looks really nice it's got like you know a bit of a rainbow sparkle going on there's a mix of different you know colors with the glitter but i I don't know i just feel like i'm not wearing glitter that much anymore I, I would be more likely to wear like this kind of you know glitter infused product than this one just because it it's kind of like a two-in-one it's giving you the base color along with the glitter and um, by the way sorry i've just i looked at my eye and i was like oh shit, what have i done but i was painting with the boys last night um oh, i love painting with the boys also i'm wearing alex's necklace today he picked this out when we went to Affleck's palace and i really like it like he's never worn it once I wear it all the time. Does he know I wear it? No. Does he even remember that he has it? No. No, I don't know why I picked it out. Why did he not get some Lego? We'll never know. But I love his taste. I think he's a he's he could be like my new stylist, maybe. But uh okay, so the third one, let's see. You have to impress us, otherwise this is going to be a shit show. Because uh Okay, so this one does not have any sparkle in it whatsoever. I thought this was meant to be like a glitter and glow trio. Oh, I've completely ripped the box which has the description on it. But it says, She Glam Modern Love Shake Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow Set. A love triangle that you'll want to get involved in. Meet our set of three liquid eyeshadows. Oh, one matte hue. So this is the matte hue that doubles as, as a primer. Oh, I love that oh my gosh we love a matte hue that doubles as a primer oh my gosh that's great one pearlized shadow and one gorgeous glitter that'll make your lids pop to get in on the action shake the tube for full pigment payoff and these are waterproof sweat proof and it's formula that keeps you looking fresh when temps rise and we're not talking about the weather wink wink oh my gosh i love shiglam's descriptions they really go to town with their descriptions i normally get like really annoyed with makeup descriptions particularly like mascara descriptions because i feel like it's all just bullshit they make up these words like hydro hydro length glow 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 no they're, they're not the words they make they, they make up like words they're very extravagant very extra and it just makes me want to puke honestly whereas shiglam's descriptions are like just really really cute and a little bit cheeky and i really oh shit i've dropped the packaging but i really approve of that okay so we have a matte one which looks like it's pretty much well it's, it's drying and i like this kind of neutral um kind of brownie nude shade um i'm really interested in this one maybe like in a video i could try the matte as a base and then we could kind of go in with the the rose gold and um, so two out of the three i like i'm not saying i don't like the other one i'm just saying like it doesn't really excite me like i'm not really feeling like oh my gosh i want to try it immediately you know but okay so i think we're definitely going to be trying those aren't we guys can we agree on that i think we're definitely going to be trying them okay so guys next we have an eyeshadow palette this one is from aliexpress it's called the wild jaguar palette by coco venus so i was really excited about this i believe it's meant to be like a bit of a dupe of some eyeshadow palettes huda beauty brought out they do uh, sell this in a, a couple of different kind of color ranges so i was really excited about this until i opened it i think this this is the reason why i've not actually tried it before now but let me just show you guys are you ready for this disaster oh if i can even open it okay i'll open it like this so sad so sad because it actually looks like it was going to be a really beautiful palette i think i could try and like i could definitely try and create a look with this i know that someone in the comments and i really appreciate you but i know someone is going to say just use some rubbing alcohol and you can just like fix the metallics but i really appreciate that help i really appreciate it look i'm actually replying to a comment before 
it's even been put uh, put in. Oh my gosh, I'm a, I, this is, am I living in the metaverse right now? Like, what is going on? I feel I just had an existential moment. But no, I really appreciate any help, always, always. But I do not own rubbing alcohol. I do not know where to get rubbing alcohol from. And I just can't be asked. most of all, to, I can't be asked. I am not going to be, I'm not going to be pressing this down. No, 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 like, no. My roots need doing, my banister need painting. I've got lunch boxes to make, I've got kitchen to clean, I've got cats to feed, I've got litter boxes to empty, I've got beds to change. I got so much going on. I ain't gonna be I ain't gonna be fixing that with rubbing alcohol, but I'm gonna try and make it work. So let me know if you'd like to try her. This is the Wild Jaguar palette. Okay, so next I have a couple of products by Beauty Glazed, who are definitely back in my good books now after the whole asbestos situation which oh my gosh do you remember that guys the great asbestos situation of 2020 or maybe it was 2019 i don't know time is just going so fast at the moment but so this is a liquid illuminator and i love liquid illuminators like i use the l'oreal liquid illuminator every single day i love it so i'm really excited to give this one a go it's in well it's just in the shade number three could you not have given her a name i'm gonna name her because i feel bad i'm going to name her bronzed donut Bron she's bronzed donut now yeah she's just a liquid glow radiance lightweight and illuminating you know the only thing that really pisses me off about beauty glazed for some reason i don't know what the reason is they think that they are catering to the borrowers because this is a tiny tiny side like if i compare it with a maybelline founded liation okay so right i mean what why 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 is it so small this is 0.2 fluid ounces and the maybelline one is well they measure it in 30 milliliters it's milliliters okay let's compare it to a concealer so this is 6.8 milliliters oh it's five five milliliters what how can that be how can that be 6.8 but this be five and the beauty glaze looks like it's got well less in it. Science lesson with Ant and Wen. Right, so yeah, this looks really good. And I really want to try her, but can anyone tell me, like, why are beauty glaze, like, releasing things, like, in sample size? This is a sample size. But anyway, so we've got the liquid illuminator. We also have, oh, a liquid lipstick, which you guessed it, guys. You guessed it. It's fecking tiny. Like, what? Like, why, 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 why? I think this is even oh no it's not it's like on par with the liquid illuminator but i just don't get it anyway it'd be good for travel though you know if you're traveling it'd be great just to you know you could bring tons of makeup so that would be a bonus anyway so this is a liquid lipstick it is a matte and it's in the shade nude so i feel like these two would be like really good um ones to try maybe along with one of the eyeshadow palettes maybe the wild jaguar we could have like a, th a crazy threesome or something so guys next i have a lipstick this is by kamaju i feel like i've not tried any kamaju makeup for so long and i actually used to like kamaju i did i liked them but i was like i like you when you're like two pounds but if you were like 10 pounds I don't like you anymore. You know what I mean? It's very like, I only like you because you're pricing your makeup like exactly correctly. It's the kind of makeup that you are, you're happy spending a tiny bit of money on, but you're not going to spend a lot of money on because the packaging is normally shit. But anyway, so this is their new matte lipstick. Oh, do you know what? The packaging's not so bad. I mean, if this was like back in the 1980s, you would say, oh my gosh, that looks like kids' makeup. But now, because like brands like... KKW, which does anyone take her seriously as a makeup brand? No, no. It's, it's one of my bugbears at the moment is all these celebrities like Selena Gomez. I'm looking at you. The other one, I'm looking at you. I don't know. I can't think of my name right now because I'm apparently not cool and trendy and hip anymore. But the your Ariana Grande, that's it. That's it. She's really the brand. I'm looking at you. It pisses me off. It's like, what are you doing? What? Why? We don't need your makeup. Leave that to the makeup brands. Anyway, so this, I, I forgot my point completely, but this is what, um, oh, oh, this looks really nice. She is like an orangey red. Okay, let's do a swatch. Okay, so there we go. She looks nice, actually. She's kind of like a really bright, vivid, orangey red. 
and that's like my jam it's my jam at the moment i feel like in the summer all i'm going to be wearing on my lips is like an orangey red and maybe that's going to be the the lipstick that's going to get me there by the way i'm really liking my foundation today i am wearing the hydro maniac by Urban Decay and I really really like it I think my makeup's looking really fresh today I'm wearing go you girlfriend and I've got the you know that diamond burning diamond diamonds are burning fire diamond I think it's fire diamond I'm wearing um, that highlighter today oh my gosh I really love it anyway right so guys next we are going to oh what's this key best i've got another liquid eyeshadow it is the day for liquid eyeshadows today because i have so many and i don't really like them the only ones i've ever really liked are the stila ones why am i saying it i don't know so this is key best eyeshadow i've definitely tried these before but hopefully i've not tried this shade before i feel like i've just tried everything now everything amazon has to offer i've tried it at least once so anyway this is in the shade 08 rose gold okay so that's what she looks like this lid feels like so cheap so cheap oh we could compare should we compare her with the the uh she glam one okay so there we go oh she looks really nice so again she's got like a really like strong opaque base with a little bit of shimmer not as much shimmer as the she glam one she looks kind of more like that you know the very metallic-y melted metal but just with a tiny bit of glitter peppered in so i actually prefer this to this if i'm being honest but um yeah anyway gosh she looks good Okay, so next we have one. I, put, I think I may have mentioned this already. I think I've hauled it at some point, but I've just not used it yet. So this is by TFT. To find the thee. Okay, TFT, to find thee. What? What? To find thee. To, who is it? Who are you finding? Like, where did they go? When did you last hear from them? Could you text them? Maybe give them a call? Send them an email? Send a WhatsApp voice out? Like, where, where, where are they? I don't know. But this is the Hydra Fresh Water Lip Crayon. And it's meant to be long-lasting and moisturising. So it's a chunky crayon. I love these chunky crayon situations. So I'll do... Oh, gosh, that feels so nice. Like, so smooth. There was just no kind of resistance whatsoever. Can you see I'm having a moment? This is, like, the moment I'm having right now. This is, like, my we're entering into summer moment so yeah that looks really nice really bright oh my gosh i really want to try that guys i can't believe i've not tried it like why have i not tried it yet i don't know but the time will come soon please vote for her guys please 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 doop -a -doop -boop -boo. okay so guys i think that's everything actually well I, actually it's not everything i have other things in here that i have definitely hauled but i've not tried because i just feel like I am not going to do a very good job when I try them, so I've put it off. But we have, oh my gosh, something has exploded all over this. And I have a feeling, you know, who who the guilty party is. It definitely, definitely that. But these are the, um, you know, the kind of eyeliner stencils. So I've got those. And I also, also, oh my gosh, guys, this is the big one. I also have this cut crease um, tool, which I am really kind of eager to try, but obviously not that eager to actually try it because she'd been sat in this box like ever since i hauled her but would you actually like to see this like i just don't know it feels like a whole lot of effort for something that probably nobody's going to be interested in but if you are interested in seeing me try to make this work just let me know because i like part of me would love to like oh do a little bit of this and i'll be like this and then you know i could pretend it's a microphone <laughs> Okay, anyway, right, so guys, please, 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 could you let me know in the comments which of these products you would most like to see me try, and I will definitely, definitely get on that ASAP. I am going to go, but thank you so much, as always, for watching. I really do appreciate it. It's wonderful to have you here, as always. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Did you see that big cheesy smile? Oh, my neighbours are coming out. Time to go under the table. It's Carmen. It's Carmen. I've not seen Carmen in a while. I love Carmen. She's so sweet. Oh, there she is. Oh, I think they're going out shopping or something.
Okay, I'll just stay here. Oh, I always feel a bit nervous, you know, just in case they see me and they think, what's she doing? Like, what's she doing? Okay, right. Anyway, guys, I'm going to say goodbye from down here, okay? Bye!